What's up, y'all? And welcome back to Free Friday. Hit the subscribe button today. I cannot believe it has only been a week since the last Free Friday. And at the same time, it feels like it's been a year. If you guys don't know, um, if you didn't if you didn't catch the last one, uh, I'm in mourning right now. We found our drummer dead on the road. We tried to put the tour together. It didn't work. We tried to finish it. And here I am back home in New Orleans instead of on the road getting to meet you. I want to thank all of you for the outpour of support during this time. And uh, especially want to thank Patreon. And uh, Patreon, I got a video coming. I'll tell you guys more about it. When I can sit down, relax, have a smoke, and figure out the situation enough to communicate it to y'all. But today, speaking of communicating, we're going to talk about something that doesn't get talked about um, almost ever. Um, if anybody knows any different, put a link in the comment section. But I think this may be the first time that a video, for blues anyway, especially for blues, has been dedicated to the subject. What subject am I talking about? Microtonal bends. And in specific, we're going to be looking at microtonal bends in first position. So what's a microtonal bend? Well, it's, it's a bend in between a half step. So in Western music, meaning music from Europe and over, right? We, we only have our the smallest form of measurement is a half step. In between Do and Re, there's that half step or the black key on a piano. Like... Like Jaws. Da, 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 da. That's what it sounds like. But in the rest of the world, they have much more precise measurements of music. Now in the West, we just call these microtonals, mic microtonal notes. So today we're going to look at that. Now a lot of blues is microtonal. When we listen to to Albert King and and uh, and and BB King and and and, and all the great blues guitar players and 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 uh it, it will in on any instrument really other than piano since piano can't really do that um we we hear a lot of this using these notes that are not notes that we can even write down so let's take a look at it so the first thing we got to know is how much how much does the harmonica bend now we're going to be looking at the top end of the harmonica initially in first position so Let's start with the first bend, seven. So seven doesn't bend a half step. It only bends a microtone. That's it, <laughs> okay. Now it may sound like a different pitch, cause it is, but it's not a pitch that we would notate here in the West. But if we go up to eight, We are getting a half step there. And nine, another half step. Up to 10 blow. We get two half steps or one whole step. So we have a microtonal bend on seven. A half step on eight. And a half step on nine and then two half steps or one whole step on ten so let's look at using some microtonal bends so the first lick I'm gonna play is nine blow nine bend eight blow seven blow All right, now I'm gonna put in a microtonal bend in between nine blow and nine blow bend. So it'll be nine blow, nine blow a l bend a little bit, and then nine blow bend, then eight blow, then seven.
All right, let's do a little more. Okay, so now uh, I'll just do some nine blow bends using two notes, two different bends on nine blow. Instead of just one, the one that's written down, the one that we have, and I'll do the same thing on eight blow. I'll use that microtonal bend there too, where I normally only have one bend, I'll put in an extra. And I'll just kind of put them together. Okay, here we go. gives this dripping sound. same thing down bottom so how many bends are there on three there's three three bends on three you have three draw and then you have half step and then a whole step and then a step and a half but I can actually get like like six or seven or eight tones out of there Same thing on two draw. There's only two bends there, but I can get a few other bends. Ready? So. music in the harmonica than than is notated right there's more music in the world than we talk about in the west so what we 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 may have stumbled upon this already by by accident just by trying to play music and be expressive and find things that mean something to us or try to find ways to express ourselves to others we may have found bends within, within bends I'm just here to tell you about it formally <laughs> right now, that this is something that I, I, I wandered upon. The, the fir- you know, listen, we hear Sonny Boy doing it, okay, on Right to Trust My Baby. But, but bigger than that for me was listening to an artist by the name of Mitch Kashmar on an album that he put out on the Delta Groove label in the in the early 2000s or mid 2000s called nickels and dimes and it was on this recording that i first started hearing these bends being treated like real musical notes in a very expressive way and 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 they sounded much better than that coming out of mitch And he's tongue block bending them too, which is even cooler.
Now, did you hear on that four? I even did it there. So we have one half step on four. That's the only bend, supposedly, on four. And I went four, slight four bend, four half step bend, four blow, giving the illusion of four notes. So here's the, here's the actual half step. And here's what I'm doing. Now, we don't have a name for that. All right, we call it a microtone. All right, so let's look at the three again. So you got the three. That's the natural, three natural, then the three half step. And then the three whole step. And then the three st step and a half. All right, so I can play something in between each of those. Right, <laughs> so there's a lot of music. How do I use them? Well, you use your ear. Right, this, this lesson today is not, this isn't an academic lesson. This is about a way to express yourself, to speak, speak through your harmonica. And we're, we're doing it in first position, but you could do it in any position. on any position again. All right, I, I got a G harp here today. But I can, you know. In second position, right? I can, anywhere there are bends, you know, look, what is good about this, right? Why not have a chromatic harmonica? Why not have this with the button? where I can just easily get every half step. Well, because I have more control over microtonal playing. You know, a lot of people talk about the old guys, right? The old guys were better than the new guys. And, the, you know, even, you know, you even hear the, the old black players were better than the new white players. So if there's any truth to that, it's because they were employing more of this. There was more expression in areas <laughs> of swing, in areas of of microtonal intonation, that was that can't really be notated, and be, because it's not notated, or because it can't be notated, uh, what we have is um, a, a, a lost oral translation that 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 somewhere somebody didn't tell somebody about it, and we get. And we pick up music and we think about music the way music is written or, or the way that we're told about it. Here is the, the, there's only one bend on nine. There's only one or only two bends on 10, only one bend on seven, uh, on, I mean on eight and no bends on seven. So what we, what we do is we're, 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 we're told that. So then we believe that and we go, okay, well, all right, well, that's all there is. So I'm not going to try to play anything between nine blow and nine blow bend. As we start playing music longer and we start getting into it, we start just kind of teasing it a little bit.
playing what we feel, right? And what sometimes what we feel, uh, you know, can't even be written down. Uh, sometimes, so, so what, what do we do when, when we play music, right? Well, we, we, when we play music, we try to communicate what we can't even say. Whether it's through an instrument or a drum set, not that a drum set's not an instrument, but a melody or a rhythm. Um, or we craft a set of lyrics, a bunch of words that in and of themselves cannot explain how we're feeling. But when we put them together, the hopes is that if you follow them in the right way or if that I put the right words together, that in the end that will communicate the same feeling. We call that poetry. In the end, what we're trying to do is express ourselves. And we express ourselves differently. At different periods in our lives, we have different things to say. Sometimes all we got is tone and one note. Sometimes we got a bunch of scales and some arpeggios and some harmony. And other times, uh, well, other times we got nothing. <laughs> other times we got nothing. And, other, and sometimes it all comes together and we get everything. Well, it's been nice talking to you about music today. Be sure to tune in. Stay tuned for the credits. Patreon, I appreciate you guys. Like, I'll get you guys the video soon, giving you kind of behind the scenes of what's been going on. Uh, sorry there's no tab on this video. Sometimes it's important that there's no tab. Sometimes you just need to listen and pay attention and not try to stop the video, not try to do anything. Just listen. Listen all the way through. When I would uh, get a new record from somebody, I never picked up my harmonica to try to play that record or anything. I listened to it a few times, try to digest it all the way through. Everything, the lyrics, the music, the beats, the way it sounded. And then maybe I'd pick one song and then start dissecting that, but still listening the whole phrases together and feeling what it felt like. A lot of times, that's again, again, the indescribable. A lot of times it, it is indescribable to me that there, that overblows exist on this, that, that, that the harmonica was not meant to bend, yet we have found all the bends. It was not meant to overblow, yet we were able to get a complete chromatic scale. That is, that is unexplainable to me. It is, it is beyond. It seems divine in terms of how that could possibly happen. Well, the same thing goes with music. We cannot always explain <laughs> how, how things work and why they do. And uh, one of the great, great things is, is the, the, the reverence of that mystery, of that mystery, of the uh, three more most powerful words in any language. I don't know. I don't know. And then um, the, the, the three next most powerful words. Please help me. <laughs> and then here's two more good ones for you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in to Jason Ritchie's YouTube channel. 16 years of incredible YouTube harmonica-related content. That's right. 16 years. At this point, over 500 free instructional videos. If you're interested in what kind of harmonicas I play, microphones, amplifiers, pedals, any harmonica related products, please check out my sponsors. These sponsors in one way or another also help keep these videos going. Who am I talking about? I'm talking about Blue Moon Harmonicas bringing you the best in custom harmonicas. We got custom cover plates, custom combs. You can get your name put on it, just like me. Reed work, refurbished pre-war marine bands. Look at that, they put the little brace there, no more crushing the covers. The Lone Wolf Blues Company, the very best in pedals, microphones, almost anything you need for your amplified harmonica needs. The Lone Wolf Blues Company, right here out of Ponchatoula, Louisiana. We got you.
Harp gear, amplifiers. They got big ones, they got small ones. You know what they sound like? They sound like the best tube amps on the market. Harp gear amplifiers out of Ocala, Florida. Pedal pad, pedal boards. Incredible custom pedal boards built to last, made by two brothers who really, really care. Honer harmonicas. A moon cat loves the Honer harmonica. I like the Marine Band. I get Tom to put the little special 20 cover plates on it. He tricks them out, but they play great right out of the box. All of these sponsors are linked below in the description box. What else is linked below? Patreon. Consider becoming a Patreon patron. You'll be supporting me. You'll be supporting the cause. You'll be keeping these videos free for everybody. And you'll get a lot of extra content over at Patreon. You'll get vlogs, occasionally some extra lessons, some posts that you might not see on Facebook. A lot of stuff that I can't say or won't say here on YouTube is over on Patreon. I love my Patreon family. You guys are the best. If you're not into the monthly subscription, you can also give me a one-time tip at Venmo or PayPal below too. I'm a touring musician and I play all over the country, really all over the world with all kinds of different acts. Check out my website, www.mooncat.org. In all seriousness, YouTube, Patreon, my sponsors have absolutely changed my life. Subscribe below, set reminders for the videos, don't miss any events. Every single Friday there's a free harmonica lesson and a lot more. Even if you're just subscribing, you're helping me a lot. Those of you that are joining me on Patreon, you guys are helping me to make better decisions with my career. In all sincerity, thank you so much, YouTube for just an incredible, incredible outlet. It's a video diary. I get to look back at 16 years at these videos. I had a lot of new friends, some really fine musicians, made some great contacts in the industry, and it's all because of you. Thank you, my harmonica family.